case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1975, the Court of Appeal of the State of California heard the case Mercer v. Elizabeth G., which centered on the principle that a defendant accused of a crime cannot claim discrimination as a defense unless they can prove they were intentionally and purposefully targeted for discriminatory reasons. Elizabeth G., a minor at the time, was found to be a ward of the court after her arrest for alleged involvement in unlawful solicitation to engage in an act of prostitution. Two police officers had received information from an anonymous source about two females working as prostitutes and taking appointments over the phone, leading to their investigation and eventual arrest of Elizabeth. She argued that the police department was selectively enforcing the law by arresting only females for solicitation of prostitution. The court disagreed and upheld the trial court's judgment, finding that the minor had indeed solicited an act of prostitution based on substantial evidence, including her statements and the circumstances of the events, even though the officers used entrapment tactics. The court ruled that the enforcement of Penal Code Section 647, Subdivision B, against women, did not constitute intentional discrimination, and Elizabeth failed to prove deliberate enforcement. As a result, the defense of selective enforcement was not available to Elizabeth, and the court upheld the order, denying a rehearing request. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.